Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss a pop culture dwarf planet featured in a popular TV show that likely originated in our solar system. The origin of a dwarf planet living in our solar system was a subject of debate for several years among astronomers. They now seem to have settled it. Ceres, a dwarf planet in the asteroid belt, has widespread ammonium deposits. Until now, experts believed that its frozen form led to the creation of Ceres. But ammonium is only stable in the outer solar system, indicating that Ceres formed outside our solar system and was slowly sucked in. New research has revealed that it is not true, and Ceres was born in the asteroid belt itself. You might recall Ceres from the TV show Expanse, in which the so-called Belters are based on this dwarf planet. The show has humans colonizing the asteroid belt to mine the space rocks. Ceres has gained fame in the real world as well, because of the doubts over its origin. It has a diameter of around 960 kilometers, is the biggest body between Mars and Jupiter in the belt, and boasts an extremely complex and varied geology. A research team led by the Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research in Göttingen studied data from NASA's Dawn space probe and has found ammonium-rich deposits in the Consus crater. The discovery has shed new light on the birth of Ceres. Dawn probe studied Ceres and noticed that it changed and evolved over many billions of years. It also found widespread ammonium deposits on the surface of Ceres. The team noted in the new study that it likely witnessed unique cryovolcanism until recently, which probably continued even today. There are light-colored, whitish salt deposits in several impact craters. The Consus crater has emerged as the main mystery point, where the deposits could indicate ammonium-rich material that has reached the surface from the depths of the dwarf planet, owing to volcanism on Ceres. Researchers say that a brine seeped to the surface from a liquid layer between the mantle and crust over many billions of years, leading to the deposits. After studying images and measurement data from the Consus crater in extreme detail, the team found material that was yellowish. It now believes that the presence of ammonium does not necessarily indicate an origin in the outer solar system, and there is a high chance that Ceres formed where it is orbiting today. Consus Crater, located in Ceres' southern hemisphere, has a diameter of around 64 kilometers. It has a circumferential crater wall that rises about 4.5 kilometers above the crater floor. It contains inside it another smaller crater covering an area of about 15 kilometers by 11 kilometers. The surface of Ceres is covered with ammonium-rich minerals. Earlier studies showed that these minerals form only through contact with ammonium ice outside our solar system. As it nears the sun, it evaporates quickly. Ceres was therefore believed to have formed at the edge of the solar system. But now, by establishing a connection between ammonium and the salty brine from Ceres' interior, researchers say that Ceres could be native to the asteroid belt. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.